Hey everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk. We've got a couple of jobs we want to do here. Uh, we're going to go check out what these Delamain jobs are like. We're going to have to find his vehicle. And then we're going to look for Sandra Dorsey's uh, data bank. And she's the one who we found in that tub at the very beginning. That we saved, I should say, at the very beginning. Should we uh, be a good citizen here and like slam some bad guys? Maybe we should. Oh, what? How? That barbed wire? You know how. I'm fucking serious. I, got I can just double right? jump straight up over it. Look at this. This is nasty. This is nasty. Uh, well. Oh, this gun. This, this gun's so sick. Okay, they had a little bit more backup than I was expecting. I don't think I have very good quick hacks for battle right now. Boy, you're lucky. Time to die. See ya. Anybody else in here? No? All right. Nice little chunk of street cred. Some goodies to take back with us and sell or dismantle. No problem. It's nice for us to get, because normally for most missions, We'll take on, like, we'll try and go stealthy, right? Until things go badly. Find the hidden Delamain cab. Oh, here we go. Boom. Car's formidable engine accelerates in a flash. So that's it? Follow the cab until it stops. Nope. Easy. Here to help. Not one step closer. Whoa, what is he doing? Hey, slow down. Leave me be. Okay, so there's a little bit more to it than just activating it. Just trying not to get lost. We also picked up uh, car races from the woman at the afterlife bar, the bartender. Anyways, what I was saying is it's nice to it's nice to just like go blasted sometimes because we try to do everything stealthy, which I think is way more stressful. But it's nice to just like let loose like this sometimes. I wish there was a way I could pop wheelies. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! He ain't stopping for anything. And I guess Delamain, because these things are deactivated, right? He can't communicate with them in advance saying, Hey, uh, someone's gonna come and try to start you up. So they just panic. And then we gotta follow him for, I don't know, how long. Until one of us blows up, potentially. Oh, he might be stopped. Well, there you have it. 
There we go. Okay, so we gotta follow them until they are like disabled. I'm grateful. V. That's cool. I've managed to re-establish contact with the vehicle. Jack therapy works wonders sometimes. I'm sending a tow truck and a share of your fee. <laughs> Yet only one of those is going to your credit account. Great. <laughs> 20 street red baby. Check that out. That's pretty cool, man. I like that. We're doing great. Okay, so now let's do full disclosure. This is Sandra's uh, data bank. Now, what? where is it from here? So we follow this. Maybe we can do some stuff along the way. Uh, there's a question mark here we could hit. There's like assaults in progress. Might be able to stop. That's a weird path. Let's check it out. Look at Night City from here. This is so sick. I'm absolutely loving this. I, I, every time I... Oh. Just letting you know, I got a really nice Thornton Colby for sale. Managed or belonged to some carjacker from Memphis. A certain Nicholas. May he rest in peace. He'd cleft the most expensive wheels for rich buyers, you know, Rayfields, Herreras. But for years, he always drove this Colby. I tell you why, but you'll know for yourself the second you get behind the wheel. Nice. Uh, I almost feel bad when I'm, like, just gushing over the game all the time because I know people on consoles and stuff, they're having a rough go, and you need a high-end PC, but... Man, if you got it, it's pretty freaking amazing. Let's get this thing reloaded. Okay. Neutralize the perps and secure the evidence. I got you. Oh my god. Like, how do you stop it? Can we get them? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what? You guys, I don't know if I can ever use another weapon. This thing is just ridiculously powerful. Archive conversation backsaw on Sonata. Okay, Gonk took the bait on his way to you now. If this ends up being another firefight, there's going to be hell to pay. No, 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 he's alone. He's whack. Do whatever you want to him. Token of our goodwill, our apology for that unfortunate incident. Unfortunate indeed. Don't want to happen again or we'll have our own unfortunate incident. Got it. Have fun with Alvin. Oh, hello. A tech pistol. 248 DPS. Two rounds at once, but significantly lowers the fire rate. Empty scope slot. Hitting a target reduces damage received. I like that mod. Alvin and Backsaw. Alvin, tigers won't be showing their claws no more. Huh? Took care of that, Biz. Paid him a visit with my boys. Didn't suspect a thing. Shit was a bloodbath. Don't know how many we got, but 30 at least. Preem, you arrange that with someone up top? Shit, ain't gonna ask around. Have Chooms telling me how to live my life. Enemies there to get fucked up, right? Yeah, shit, Choom. Congrats, you got some balls. Who's got the balls now? Chooms. Gold chain. Three bucks. Not even real. Not even real gold. Can't pick this up. There we go. Now look at this. It's a little different. All right. What else can we clean up around town on our way? Ooh, hello. Like how they set up a roadblock just to mess with people. What do you want here? Yo, V. There's this badge. Scrolls before one. investigation. 
Guy's known for operating in the gray zone. No scruples about working with mercs. Attach more deeds for you. If I had to guess, scrolls before swine is something about BDs and cops, right? Uh, target CCTV footage. Client is Aaron McCarlson. He's an NCPD sergeant. Used to work for me as a consultant on the show Cops and Chops. It's eight seasons. And is asking for a favor. Aaron's been digging into Maelstrom for a while now. Says he found the warehouse where they torture people. But you know how it is for badges. Law slows them down with mounds of paperwork. So if they want to get something done, they have to get creative. Aaron knows that. Which is why instead of waiting for fat-ass judges to grant him permission, he wants to get help from a contractor. Job simple. Get in the warehouse. Coordinates attached. Steal the security cam footage and bring it back to Aaron. Should be enough to push his case through. And if you happen to shoot a few male streamers along the way, well, shit happens, right? World won't be worse off without him, that's for sure. Okay. Cool. So, normally we want to do things quiet. Kind of what I was talking about before. But, uh, if we have an opportunity like this, where it's like, hey, we don't care if people get killed, then uh, we'll use that to let loose a little bit and introduce some variety into how we tackle the missions. Um, let's do a breach protocol on this guy. Vulnerability would be great. 5-5, five, 5-5, five, five, five. uh, 5-5. Five, five. Sure. So we got two that I can see here. Let's run a ping. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I have an idea. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, first of all, I'm going to change up my cyber deck because I don't need this whistle. Let's do something like uh, weapon glitch, maybe. Temporarily unusable, causes the weapon target to malfunction, reducing accuracy, disabling smart tracking and obstacle penetration, spreads to the nearest enemy. That's okay. I guess they can just, like, refresh it. Cripple movement. They can still shoot. Um, reboot optics. Running them temporarily blind. Why don't we throw this on? And let's do something like get rid of this. And we'll put something where we can... Let's use this Nekomata. We had this uh, this rare one now. So this way, <laughs> what we can do is... Beautiful. We have this gun to start firing on. These guys. We'll clean them out this way. And then if people start running out, we have to switch to get people behind cover or something. Oh my god, 7,500? He survived. <laughs> this feels disgusting. Okay, now, can I... Can I get through there? That must be so scary. All of a sudden, your team just starts getting dropped. Oh, my God. I'm over-encumbered. I'm over-encumbered. Let's get rid of some stuff here real quick. Uh, gone. 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 Sit tight. Coming for you. Think we can pull this off quick? I do. Let's get some cash. Uh, BD551C1C we can do. Oh, look at this code matrix. Why is this different all of a sudden? So much bigger. Hmm. Okay, if I can get both one and two then. Actually, it doesn't even matter. Let's just go BD551C. This, this double jump, man. I'll be your friend. It's 
Just a matter of time, motherfucker! Is that right? Oh, look at this breach time, though. Okay, that's something we're gonna have to improve. Shabby hooded cutoff. Warp's barely breathing. Ho oh, oh. I wasn't sure if those were landing. Seems that they were. Enough. Enough. Find the computer with the footage. Pain editor's mortality rates. We've read that. Oh, look, a 10. Okay, that's actually promising because... I was We're at 11, and when we hit 10, I was like, man, we should probably be able to open any door. And now we see a 10, so that's cool. Let's take it. Bring the footage to Aaron. Okay. We can uh, dismantle more of these things. And I'll even... I'm going to go and, like, upgrade this sniper rifle and stuff, I think. Uh, via crafting. Uh, wait, what do we have? So we have this Nekomata here. Yeah. Let's just make sure I'm not... Dismantling that. So we do have two. Am I crazy? Nekomata, Nekomata, yep. So this one can go. Tech pistol, but we have the Lizzie. And I'll get rid of this shotgun. So now if we go into crafting here and look at our upgrades. Man, see, look at this. A smart sniper rifle. This might be better because it's a smart sniper rifle. Um, but the damage output is not even close to what we have on this bad boy. 608? So to upgrade this, I can get it up to 781. Reduces weapon sway. Like, yeah, this thing is just kitted out. Needs epic components. I actually don't even know if we need this. I think for all of this, it's probably not a great upgrade. Uh, is this the best that we have? Well, it depends. We can get a little bit more range and still get a reduction on aim down sights time. So let's throw that on. Cool. And now we got to go meet the, uh, the cop. Take any of this stuff that we can. I, I wonder why these are so much bigger now. One C, seven A, seven A, and then we could probably get one C. One C, seven A, seven A, one C. We need twenty-five grand to get a new uh, cyber deck, so we're gonna be we're gonna be laughing very quickly here. I don't need to worry about that one. Yeah, so he's actually kind of close by. Of 
upstairs. These fixers, man, is it just me or is their job like mostly chill? You're just basically pairing people up. Yeah. Aaron, it's V. I've got the scrolls. Oh, V? <laughs> Thought you were another one of those Serenity Bible whack jobs. Come in. So, hit any snags along the way? There uh. always are. Handle them. You're real tough as nails, huh? That's how you survive out there. All right, now hand over those scrolls already. Choppity chop chop, huh? Are you gonna let me in to uh, loot whatever is back there, or what? These scrolls are for some kind of investigation, right? Mm-hmm. Real big stink, mind you. But thanks to your help, I can give it a push. There you go. Here, take them. Great work. I'll spread the word you do solid mark work. Coming from Aaron McCarlson, that'll go far. I'm sure it will. Take care. What? No. There's got to be a way. I saw a gear back there. Leave Aaron's building. Hold on. Let's see if I can... Just going to ignore me now? Huh. I'm going to see if I can get in there. It's got like a... Got a purple back there that I could use. Aaron's happy. I'm happy. Always pays to be on good terms with badges, right? Gigs closed. Eddie's on their way. And we leveled. Scavengers. I'm really curious as to how we could get into his place. Oh, God. Scavs, get real. I don't see an entry point at all. Um, so maybe you just can't, but... Doors are locked and not accessible. Huh. Watch it. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Come on. I really hope that there's a way to do it because there's clearly something back there. And give me a way in. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it. This ain't gonna cut it. This is unacceptable. Alright, I'm over it, I guess. I'll live. I'll live. Okay, full disclosure, let's find her uh, data bank. Do we have any other type of... Uh, oops. Do we have any other type of injectables like that that we should be looking at? We have, like, the big heels. We have bigger heels. That's about it. I should maybe switch over to these just for when things go bad. Okay. 
So we do have a Ripper Dock down here as well. This will actually be good because I think we have a few implants that we could get into. And we can get our new cyber deck. Now she made a comment about finding this databank and not not reading anything on it. <laughs> My god. Introducing Alois Decan, a deadbeat with a pretentious name. Gonk broke my trust and skipped town. Fuck my can. Well, fuck him. Only thing I care about now is the data he left in NC, specifically what's on his comp. Check the attachment, you'll see what to do. Okay, so that's another job here. Oh, maybe when we're talking, we can't do a double jump for some reason. Nice, nice. I'm gonna just live by the rooftops, you guys. <laughs> uh, okay. So we just need to find the data bank. We don't have any clue where it is, really. Gig last login. Somewhere nearby. Uh, this is an electronic door. Let's breach. Let's go for ice picks. Can I ping off this? Yes. Man. I've noticed a lot more recently that um, the enemies actually do a pretty good job of seeing up and down. The reason I did that, by the way, is because you can get extra points by uh, hacking it. And you, I guess you could just stand there and spam that. This is a big... This is a seven. Okay, 1C55, 1CE9. 1C55, 1CE9. Well, I'm really hoping it's on, high, on the high ground here because if not, going to be more challenging and it doesn't seem to be up here so joy toy yeah it's actually leading me downstairs the one thing I'd like to experiment with is um We'll do our upgrade in a second here. But this, this hidden dragon takedown allows you to perform non-lethal aerial takedowns on unaware targets. In that graphic, it looks like you're just jumping at him and then maybe there's something you got to hit as you get to it. Like there's even another level here. Oh my god. Any but not an eye? 
What the frick did we find here? Dude. It's one guy. The fuck's going on? Okay, okay, fuck. I don't care. I don't want to hear it. That's so powerful. Did not go according to plan. Fuck the beach. Oh, we're in shit here. I don't know what grenade that was. What the hell is this? It's a sticky grenade. It, it takes a long time to go off. That's awesome. No, ты мне ответишь, уёбок. Cyber usage and its side effects. access tokens um so yeah when i tried to sneak in here i guess i couldn't quite squeeze behind this guy and then he saw me so i have to watch that who would have thought corpo or not without chrome we all look like the same idiotic bullet ridden sacks of meat that's one way of looking at it johnny yeah for sure militech incendiary round cyberware mod Explodes on impact and deals thermal damage to enemies within the area of effect with a small chance to apply burn. Charge shots increase damage, the explosion radius, and the chance to apply burn. Effects, uh, effective against groups of enemies? Yeah! Like, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know how we're going to use it. We're going to find out. Our laptop there. 10 AF Lexington. Okay. We're going to... I think we'll disassemble this Lexington. And pretty much everything else here. Oh, this is not even... Oh my god, this is for a different gig. Oh, okay. Okay, so... <laughs> we got this call on the way in. Okay, so she wanted us to steal Alwa Daquin's laptop. The Corporal Mega Prick who cheated me. And not only me. There's a whole city out there that wants to get its hands on this guy. As they say, the fate of a traitor is sealed at the time of his betrayal. What in what interests me beyond my vengeance was the data pad, and well, the data on it. Our trader picked up and fucked off right out of NC so fast he left his gear in town. Just 20 minutes ago, I got a login ping from his comp at an Eisenhower Saint local net, or Eisenhower Street. Head over there and grab his device. Once we get it, we take advantage of this confused mess. Oh, okay. I was wondering what was going on there. 
Okay. So her data pad is upstairs, it looks like. That's cool that they're kind of, they're in the same location, like multiple uh, quests. Oh, damn. Hey, where'd you come from? It was just downstairs. You want to talk about this? I don't know what you saw there. I think you I might. Don't go down there. I don't know anything. They forced me. I'm their hostage. Said if I try to escape, I'd be next on the table. I swear. Hmm. Civilian. Time's kind of tight here. Let me, can we check his computer? I don't really understand. All right, all right. I believe you. I don't have a way to accuse him Terrible either thing. way. I'm glad it's over. So maybe you should leave? He's eating bucket slice. Oh, he's the Ripper Doc that's nearby. Okay. This is all making sense now. There's this little, like, cluster of things, and it's all in this one building. That's so trippy. What kind of stuff you got? Okay. So, let's take a look here. First of all, we're going to upgrade this. Uh, hmm. We wanted one that was 25,000, and he doesn't appear to have it. So, we'll probably go back to Victor and do it. But those mods that we picked up, I wonder... Mantis Blades here, 15,000. We picked up something about Mantis Blades. Projectile launch system. This is probably the thing that we need to mod, or to mod what we just picked up. Increased resistances. Okay, Bucks Clinic. Let's leave him for a second. Let's take a look at our cyberware. Available mods. All your sh weapons are non-lethal. I mean, that's not bad. That's kind of nice, because then we can... It has to be smart weapons, right? It says all your weapons. But... I would assume that's only smart. Um, hmm. So if we look then in our inventory, let's look at new items. This is a cyberware mod. I just wish it told me like what I would need to do this. I'm guessing it's that projectile thing, but it could just be a lot cleaner, you know? Cyborg mods, cyborg mods. So this upgrades the mantis blades. Shabby hooded cutoff we could wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's way better. Tire iron can go. We'll keep that and we're good. Okay, let's go and see if we can find her thing now. We have access to another ripper dock. Oh, what the... My God. So, we were saying... We'll talk to you later. I'm looking for something. I think this one was on the main floor. BD1C, BD1C. Oh my god, I've done it again. Uh 1C, I screwed it up. Because I can't I can't do a BD from here. So now I'm gonna go for the second one. Here we go. OK. 
Okay, so is this something we can we can read? Get into those in a bit. Operation Carpe Noctum. Ah, uh, do we read this? I think we have to. Oh shit. We can crack security. That's cool. Data mine copy malware. 551C FF55. 551C FF55. Nice. Oh, my buffer's huge here. Uh, BDE9. 55. 30. For Night Corp internal use only. The tests have come back successful. The artificial intelligence CN07 has proven itself capable of bypassing commercial device specific and macro security systems accessible to Night Corp employees at the lowest ranks. Uh, none of the test subjects were aware that this experiment was being conducted on them. In compliance with the orders it was given, CN07 focused mostly on subject HK13, which at the time of the experiment's commencement was classified as calm and empathetic. After a period of subliminal conditioning, as we predicted, HK13 began to display acute psychopathic behavior. The highlight was a dispute over coffee, during which HK13 strangled one of the colleagues and jumped out of the 16th floor window of the research facility. We'll soon commence the next phase of the procedure and install CN07 onto our onto the devices of our actual target. What the frick? Okay, let's get out of here. Isn't this the way that we... Oh, yeah, cool. This is the way we found in. That's sweet. Okay, let's uh, give her a call here. V. You're V, right? I am. You find the data bank? I did. Someone's back in tip-top shape. Trauma must have put you back together in no time. Yep. Good as new. Still, if not for you, wouldn't have been anything left to put back together. Never got the chance to thank you properly. Wasn't there someone else with you? Big uh, guy? Yep. Whenever you get a chance, tell him I said thanks. It's not around anymore. Um, yeah, about that. Jackie's dead. <sighs> no. My condolences. It, it wasn't because of me, was it? No. He was killed by Arasaka. It wasn't too long after we found you. Jackie always had too much cool to let anyone know he gave a shit, but after everything you went through, he'd be happy you remembered him. Anyway, what matters is that we're still alive. Now, um, about that, uh... The data bank, do you have it? <laughs> yeah. Right to the chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. A scav hunt. Doesn't Sandra, seem surprised. You there? Yeah. It's just that, well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. I figured they must have had it. But, you know, it's not like I was going to go looking for it myself after. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. Hmm. Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Jammer exploit. True. But who knows what the scabs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You want to talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data bank to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks. Cool. Now we're going to meet her. Oh, awesome. It's pretty close. I'm going to take this vehicle from these guys. Hope they don't mind. I have a couple messages here. Regina. Oh, okay. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know which thing we decrypted there. There's so much happening at one time. I don't know if that was from this or what. We read this, though. Grab the device. Once we get it, we can take advantage of this confused mess. That's fine. 
And then we have a message here from Delamain. You're eligible for compensation. Please inform me that your vehicle has been repaired after suffering an unfortunate incident. It can be found in your garage. Wish you a good day and thousands of collision-free miles. Thanks, finally. That's cool. And uh, lastly, let's go into leveling here. I don't want to fall back too far on, on intelligence, so we should probably grab a point in this. Let's do this. Increases RAM capacity by 4%. Uh, and then, presuming we're going to get a new cyber deck here from the next Ripper dock, hopefully. Hmm... Let's maybe do the breach protocol time. Yeah. That's cool with me. All right. Guys, tell you what. We're going to take a break here. Oh, nice. Let's see if these guys just attack on site. No, they're not. Uh, we're going to do a small break. And then when we come back, we will go to Sandra's place and uh, see where that leads. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.